and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another reaction video here today, reacting to another episode of Doctor Who, continuing on with Matt Smith in charge of the TARDIS now as the 11th Doctor in Season 5. Uh, since last time, we watched two episodes, you can check out his first episode as the Doctor of the 11th Hour, if you haven't already, and since then, you, this is going to take a minute, so bear with me, we've got the Beast Below first of all. We're off to London, which is now part of an alien spaceship that is Britain, uh, where getting a zero at school gets you sent to the beast below. Yep. Uh, the Doctor explained to Amy that they've never interfered with events through time and space. Pardon me trying not to laugh at that one, Docky boy. Uh, the Doctor placed a glass of water on the floor, which attracted the attention of the masked cult of putting water on the floor. Amy just about escaped a metal scorpion before being gassed in masks by being gassed by men in black robes, whilst the Doctor met with the cult of putting water floor on the floor, uh, who are obsessed with the fact the ship isn't actually connected through power, so how the hell are we flying? Hence the water. Um, Amy finds out the truth of Starship UK, automatically processes, and automatically processes to forget it using the forget button on the machine. Um, which, fair enough. When a message of her plays saying to get the Doctor off the ship immediately, um, she she keeps that a secret from him. The Doctor obviously listens, decides to listen to... <laughs> Jesus Christ. The Doctor obviously decides to listen, JK. He protests and drops down the hole to the beast, Geronimo. Uh, the Doc argues for robots and lovely cult woman shot them down. Her name's Liz, by the way. She's the Queen. Um, who shows the Doctor some giant-ass tentacles that get the Doctor wishing they never came. Turns out Starship UK has a beast below that they're torturing to keep the ship moving. That's the Royals for you, I tell you. Uh, it's revealed that Queen Liz is actually a robot who starred all of this. That's the Royals, I tell you. <laughs> um, Jaws. And the Doctor's mad at Amy keeping a secret from him, even if she doesn't remember. Amy remembered, uh, to some exact and forced the Queen to abdicate, which stopped the torture, and left the Star Whale to travel in peace with the UK on its back. What a lovely creature. Um, because it couldn't bear the children of Earth crying as it died. Yep. Uh, Amy understands the Doctor a bit more now. They hug, until the Doctor gets a call from PM Churchill, by the way. Um, oh Christ, Daleks are here. And also there's another crack in time and space in the Star Whale. So, that's fun. Uh, and there's a whole other episode, Victory of the Daleks. Mark Gattis wrote this one. And Churches is using the Daleks as secret weapons and has a TARDIS key. A lot at play. Uh, okay, shocking one for you. You'll be shocked. The Doctor, not too impressed with the UK using Daleks as secret weapons. I know. I'm sorry, they're iron sights that Churchill's scientists made. Okay. Uh, Amy doesn't remember the Dalek invasion, so the Doctor realises something's gone a bit schwiff, because you don't forget the Stolen Earth Dalek invasion season ender now, do you? I certainly haven't. Uh, the Dalek are making tea for people. Sorry, I had to mention, that's just, that's just funny. Uh, the Dalek scientist is having too many ways with smart ideas. Something's up. The Dalek beats the poop out of Dalek with a wrench. Finally, they confess to being Daleks and hiding behind the moon. Okay, the Dalek actually made the scientist who thought he made them on Earth. Okay. <laughs> uh, the Doctor pops off, leaving Amy here, not cool, bro, as he heads to the Dalek ship, jammy dodger in hand. Jesus Christ, I'm glad he left her, actually. Uh, the Dalek tech needed the Doctor's acknowledgement of them to work and make some pure Daleks. Not not these, you know, dirty Daleks mixed with humans. Nah, no. oh, the real stuff. Mm. Uh, they turn on London so the Nazis can see it. Uh, the Daleks make a rainbow of Daleks, literally, and Amy convinces the Dalek made robot scientists to help the humans. He builds planes that can fly in space with lasers to shoot the Dalek, my god, this episode, and they turn off the lights in London, yay. Except robot scientists are a bomb, so Doctor has to let the Daleks go to save the Earth. He heads to the Earth to prove that the scientist is real because he has feelings which stops the bomb from going off, yay. Uh, just, you know... Just another day, the Rainbow Daleks go away, they'll be back, of course they were. Doctor refocused on that whole break in time over Amy not remembering the Daleks, as another crack in time is also present here. The cracks in time are showing, the Pandora will open, silence will reign. But not today, because today is not the time of the Pandora opening. Today is not the time of silence reigning. It's season 5, episode 4, and it's the time of of angels. Beautiful day. Hallucinogenic lipstick. She's here. Um. 
That guy tripping the hell out, talking about how lovely a day it is, just spinning around looking at birds. We've all been there, you know. It, it's, it's an ordinary thing. Uh, we've all listened to Alien by The National. Uh, hallucinogenic lipstick, she's here. An angel, I'm assuming. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> She's got a laser gun, which can also turn into a blowtorch. And she wants whatever's in this base. She doesn't look like an angel, I get it well. She looks like an angel. Uh, <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, loving the outfit, though. Very villainess. Big fan of it. You promised me a pilot neck. The biggest museum ever. What do you need museums for? Oh, what of mine. Oh, I see. It's how you keep score. An old box. Like a black box. Anything happened, lies home with all the flight data. Useful tech, useful tech. <laughs> yeah, like an alien black box that actually flies home to give that info as well, which, useful, useful. Doctor, I mean, noticing something's wrong with time, because Amy doesn't remember the Dalek invasion, and, you know, the stolen Earth and all of that, uh, and going through this massive museum, just talking about how wrong most of it is. <laughs> The writing, Old High Gallifreyan, the lost language of the Time Lords. These words could burn stars and topple gods. What does this say? Hello, sweetie. Hello, sweetie. <laughs> Is that... God. <laughs> Is that... Well, I only have a type of her dad from River when she met the Doctor. Using her blowtorch to write in Old Gallifreyan a message on this. To you, Doctor. Hello, sweetie. <laughs> Part is over, Dr. Song. Someone on a spaceship 12,000 years ago is trying to attract my attention. <laughs> yes, yes, she is. Dr. River Song very much is trying to attract your attention, Doctor, because I assume something's gone a bit shawith in this time period specifically. I'm gonna presume in relation to some angels. <laughs> Fire. Needed a scene. Then you're wrong. This ship won't reach its destination. Wait till she runs and make it look like an execution. 75 slash 34 slash 8 going. Oh, and I can do with an eye card. <laughs> Alistair says so that um, the Brigadier, because I know his name's Alistair, and it would make sense she was going to come in. You know, this type of face does look like it may belong to Unit. <laughs> yeah, a little smile at the camera, adjusting her hair ready to see the doctor, giving, I assume, the coordinates he needs to get here. Like I said on the dance floor, you might want to find something to hang on to. Follow that ship. Oh my god. <laughs> that was majestic. She, she soared through space. Directly into the coordinates of the TARDIS that she sent. <laughs> right onto the Doctor. Uh, Amy had no idea what was going on because we just saw this woman rob this thing. And now she's here. Time. Uh, we're, we're chasing that spaceship, which I would highly advise. Stay close. I'm trying. Stabilizer. Haven't heard stabilizer. The blue switches. Blue ones don't do anything. Just blue. The blue stabilizer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, River. Knowing things about the TARDIS, even the Doctor doesn't, God. <laughs> she is brilliant. She is brilliant, isn't she? How come she can fly the TARDIS? Parked us right alongside. You haven't landed. Of course we've landed. It's a minute noise. No, though. It's not supposed to make that noise. You leave the brakes on. <laughs> Amy in amazement at River. <laughs> because, you know, she can actually knows how to drive. Doctor just... He knows how to drive... But he knows how to drive like, you know, I know how to drive in GTA. <laughs> I can get the car going. I can get it to A to B. But it's not going to be the smoothest journey possible. She knows how to drive, drive. I had lessons from the very best. Well, yeah. It's a shame you were busy that day. Why did they land here? They didn't land. It crashed. Here's that. How did you do that museum thing? Oh, getting River out, closing the door. <laughs> Amy's got plenty of questions. <laughs> Mainly resolve around who the hell is that. <laughs> Off we go. What are you doing? Leaving. Are you basically running away? Yeah. Why? Because she's the future. My future. Hang on, is that a planet out there? Yes. You promised me a planet. Five minutes? Okay. Five minutes. Yes. <laughs> Doc's wanted to get her out of here, okay? He remembers the library. He's not about playing with that game. You know, this is it. River Song is his future. He's not about messing with that. Let's get the hell out of here. But 
Amy, too excited. Alien planet? No, 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 boss Eddie. How do we go? <laughs> what caused it to crash? War pin is at a phase shift. It'd have to be sabotage. Aren't you going to introduce us? Professor Rivers. <gasps> I'm going to be a professor someday. <laughs> How exciting. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers. It's tough, okay? <laughs> when you're messing with the wibbly wobbliness of time, you don't know what to say, when to say, especially with someone like River Song, because he doesn't know what at, point, at what point she is. She doesn't know what at what point he is. Like, he, his previous self met her previously at the end of her life. But now he, in her, his second meeting of her, is meeting her much earlier than that. <laughs> it's wibbly wobbly time. My God, can, Moffat loves playing with time and it always hurts my brain. <laughs> she just left you a note and you see him. Two things always guaranteed to turn up in a museum. Home box of category four Starliner. Sooner or later. Him. It's how he keeps school. I know. It's <laughs> hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> They're having a lovely time. A good laugh, a good joke. <laughs> Doctor, not having fun. Not having fun at all. Not having fun at all in this situation. But the gals are having a lovely day, Doctor. So leave them to it, I say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nobody's taxi service. You are so wrong. There's one survivor. There's a thing in the belly of that ship that can't ever die. Now he's listening. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> she mentioned the vault earlier. Is that it? The thing in the vault in the belly of this ship that can never die. An angel. <laughs> Which does leave the question, why are these mother truckers transforming an angel? In this ship, and what protocols did they have in place to try and stop this? Age? So, you know, a lot of questions actually. <laughs> you lot in orbit yet? I'm at the crash site. Doctor, can you sonic me? I need to boost the signal. Doctor, you sonic her. <laughs> Amy, with the innuendos, a very solid one actually. <laughs> Amy can sense a lot of tension between the Doctor and River. <laughs> She's having a great time. Glad you're having fun, Amy. Where are we up to? <laughs> What's the bick? Stay away from it. What is it though? Her diary. Our diary. Her past. My future. Time travel. We keep meeting in the wrong order. Aww. <laughs> Her soldier friends, you know, hurricane teleport in. Does the doctor info, you know, as tradition, let's sync up, see where we're doing in the in the diary. I do love her diary with its, you know, TARDIS like exterior. It is lovely. Uh where are we're very early, you know. I mean I've only ever seen you meet twice, so and I'm not entirely sure if you recorded that particular <laughs> story. Then again, that would be at the end of the book. And the start of the book. The book is a circle. <laughs> promise me an army, Dr. Song. No, I promised you the equivalent. This is the doctor. Father Octavian Bishop, 20 clerics at my command. Troops in the dropship landing shortly. 20 troops. Which, you know what, I give it to them, is a lot of red shirts to throw at the angel and turn into stone. <laughs> the doctor is the equivalent of the army. I give her a song that. Jorah Mormont, how are you doing? I say Jorah Mormont. If I didn't call him Jorah Mormon, I would have called him Batman. So we'll leave it at Jorah Mormon, eh? Also, Doctor, I'm not going to get used to that if you start doing that. He saluted. Is this a Doctor Who salutes? Are you a saluter, Doctor? Because that's going to take a minute to adjust. Has Doctor Song explained what we're dealing with? Doctor, what do you know of the Weeping Angels? <laughs> His reaction, snap neck, like, huh? The what? The huh? <laughs> oh, he knows of the Weeping Angels, and he knows that if the Weeping Angels get here, then it's really, really, really not good. <laughs> get inside and neutralize it. Can't get through up top. Network of catacombs. Blow through the base of the cliffs and work our way up. Catacombs, probably dark ones. Great. Maze of the dead. Get up any time you like. <laughs> that doesn't help, okay? <laughs> the offer of dark catacombs to, you know, move through when there's an angel on the loose. Not good. You know, changing its official, giving it its official title of, you know, Maze of the Dead. Yeah, please stop. <laughs> Let's just chill there. You're letting people call you sir. You never do that. So whatever a weeping angel is really right, yeah? No, that's interesting. You're still here. Which part of waiting the TARDIS was so confusing? Are you all Mr. Grumpy Face today? <laughs> yes, he is all Mr. Grumpy Face today, Amy. Thank you very much. <laughs> River Song's here. There's a weeping angel on the loose. He's not acting himself and he's all Mr. Grumpy Face. <laughs> I love her. Yeah, if I said I love her. 
dead here. Most powerful, malevolent knife form. I'm supposed to climb in after it with a screwdriver and a torch. Do something incredibly clever, which I haven't actually thought of yet. That's my day. Any questions? Is River Song your wife? <laughs> a solid question, honestly. Didn't wasn't really listening to you, Doc. Was thinking of a good question, and that is a solid question. Doctor, right, understandably, Mr. Grumpy Pants, when that's your day, you know, you have to go in this dark dungeon, try and find a sweeping angel, not die of radiation, and then do something to stop the sweeping angel that you have no idea what to do. It's not a good day. <laughs> it's not a fun day. But is she your wife? <laughs> well, not yet, but... <laughs> She's someone from your future. The way she talks to you, I've never seen anyone do that. She's kind of like, you know, heel boy. Is she going to be your wife one day? Yes, you're right. I am definitely Mr. Grumpy Face today. <laughs> he said it. He said it's a lot of He is in the Mr. Man and he is Mr. Grumpy Face today. Because, yeah. <laughs> a lot going on in Amy. You are right. It is partly resolving around future Mrs. Doctor over there. <laughs> it's from security cameras in the vaults. Four seconds. I put it on loop. You've encountered the angels before. Once on Earth, those were scavengers. Just a statue. When you see it. Been in private hand. Dormant. There's a difference between dormant and patient. Yeah. <laughs> I Do the security cameras work on weeping angels? If you're looking at a security camera? But I'm not entirely sure what the protocol is. Because this place has been, you know... I mean, crashed and everyone died, except the Weeping Angel. So, I mean, it's not moving now. Is that just because the security camera's on it? They had to, you know, fr frantically search through the ship trying to find it on the cameras. <laughs> uh, it, yeah. It, it, Weeping Angels are very patient creatures. They got nowhere to be. They do have nowhere to be. Hyperdrive would have split open, planet would drive by radiation, kind of electrons back his door, deadly to almost any living thing. Dinner to an angel. Who built that temple? Are they still around? The Aplans died out 400 years ago. <laughs> it's also adding to the stress. Well, we are on a time, isn't it? Because all the radiation from the hyperlink and everything that's leaked out, angels love that. They love that stuff. So it's just eating. It's just feeding. No longer, it's not up so much. It's just eating at the minute. Mm, 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 hyperlink energy. Mm. <laughs> Getting even more powerful. So, we are on the clock as well. <laughs> this is stressful. Dr. Song, with me. Two minutes, sweetie, I need you. Anybody need me? Nobody? Mm, I don't like that. <laughs> Amy going through it. Doctor, very distracted. He's got River Song here as well. So, Amy just kind of left to do her own thing, you know? <laughs> oh, and then turn back and the Weeping Angels moved slightly. Not too much. It's just taking its head out of his hands and it's looking behind it. It's kind of just looking at the camera. Not bad, but in the middle. Didn't you his girlfriend? No, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Did you have the one clip of the angel? No, just the four seconds. What's wrong with this book is wrong. Oh, wait. <laughs> I have, um... <laughs> I've misread this situation. Because that's not a live feed, is it? No. <laughs> it's just a clip. It's a YouTube short of a weeping angel. Which furthers to the question, how is that MF -er moving? Because, <laughs> yeah, power's all out in that ship. It's running amok in there, God knows where. But in this four-second click, it's also moving a lot, muck, because how is it moving in a simple video click? Oh, I, you know, dare not think about how weeping angels work, but Amy, I'd get the hell away from that television. <laughs> <gasps> no, 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 Amy, get out, get out, get out, get out. The door locks behind her, the weeping angel gets closer to the camera. Amy, for the love of God, I have seen horror movies, get the hell out of there. How early is this for you? Very early. So you don't know who I am yet. How do you know who I am? I don't always look the same. I've got pictures of all your faces. You never show up in the right order, though. Why aren't there pictures? Oh, <laughs> that does explain how she always recognises him, because she just has pictures of every doctor's face there's ever been. So if he ever pops up, you know, no matter which one pops up, she'll know which one it is, and she'll know how early he is. <laughs> but you're just a recording. You can't move. Oh my god. <laughs> Amy, not having a fun time. I'm not having a fun time. Tries turning the TV off, instant switches back on. Tries unplugging it, Angel gets right up to the clo to the camera like she's, you know, Owen, I can't remember his name, Lou Owen, from Torchwood. <laughs> He's on our website, hello, hello. <laughs> Doctor? Doctor? Warning about the weeping 
Weeping Angels. So why no pictures? There was that bit about images. Wait. <laughs> no pictures of the Weeping Angels in the book. Why not show us what to look out for? Is it because these very, very powerful Weeping Angels can get through pictures? So if they'd taken a picture or drawn it, it could have got out? Because that is terrifying, and Amy's realised that the airlock is closed. <laughs> that which holds the image of an angel becomes itself an angel. Doctor! Doctor! Amy! What's happening? It's coming out of the devil's Don't take your eyes off Yeah, Amy, don't even blink. Not even for a second, don't even blink. It is cut, it is very staticky. But that is an angel. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I, I can see why it headed straight for the nearest webcam. <laughs> well... You know, security camera, but still. <laughs> deadlocked. There is no deadlock. Don't even blink. Doctor. Turning the screen off. No good. It's deadlock horses. No deadlock. There is now. Try again, but don't take your eyes off the end. Deadlock. You ever tried not blinking? <laughs> I agree with her. <laughs> the doctor's convinced it's deadlock. River's saying there's not a deadlock. I mean, you know, the weeping angel's in the system. God knows what it's done in there. But I agree with Amy. Have you tried not blinking? Saying to yourself, don't blink. Just makes you like very aware of the fact you're not blinking and it makes it even harder not to blink and i respect amy's choice right now just taking turns winking each eye instead it's just a recording don't anything that takes the image of an angel is an angel what's it gonna do to me just keep looking at it not the eyes look at the angel but don't look at the eyes why the eyes are not the windows of the soul they are the doors Oh, why are they making it worse <laughs> don't look at its eyes you can't look at a weeping angel in its eyes now you have to look at its legs or his arms, or his bosom. It's heaping bosom. <laughs> the eyes are the door. Eyes act as doors, and yeah, I'd, I'd rather not enter whatever, whatever the hell was inside there. <laughs> so, yeah, bosom it is, I suppose. <laughs> whatever holds the image of an angel is an angel. Okay, hold this. Three, four. And I froze it on the flip. What's the image of an angel anymore? Amy, you brilliant, brilliant girly you. <laughs> Taking advantage of the fact there's a four second loop. So there's a little, you know, buffer window, a little blip where it phases out as it resets back to the four seconds. And kicking it just on time to when it's in that little blip so that it's not the form of an angel anymore. It's just a television you can turn off. Brilliant. That was good, yeah? That was pretty good. That was amazing. River, hug Amy. Why? Because I'm busy. I'm fine. <laughs> You're brilliant. Thanks. Yeah, I kind of creamed it, didn't I? <laughs> oh. Doctor, not, not, you know, you don't want to go with the emotional stuff right now. <laughs> Giving the order is kind of, you know, the highest ranking officer here, the doctor. River, hug Amy. <laughs> You could use a hug after that, let's be honest. And like River said, you are brilliant. Okay, you absolutely cream that. That was a projection of the angel. It's reaching out, getting a good look at us. It's no longer dormant. We're through. Okay, now it starts. Yeah, and now the fun and games really begin. Because the angel knows we're not dormant. The angel's not dormant anymore. It's had a nice little look at us. And we've just blown a wall into the catacombs. Oh, let the fun begin. <laughs> Coming? Yeah, coming. It's just something in my eye. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> she looked it in the eye. At some point in that, she looked it in the eye. Okay, before the doctor told us not to look in the eye. Or even after, because someone's saying, don't look in the eye. You know? It's like your friend, and you're saying, oi, there's a girl over there, don't look at her. You're gonna look. <laughs> it's like being like dared not to almost. Oh god. The windows access the doors. Is the weeping angel in her now? Can it use its eyes? Is it going to project out of her eyes? Because I'd rather not see that, honestly. <laughs> Where are we? It's an Aplan Mortarium, sometimes called a maze of the dead. What's that? If you happen to be a creature of living stone. Perfect hiding place. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Of course, this is where it would crash land. It would crash land on a place where the Weeping Angel could get in here. Which is, yeah, just a catacombs filled with statues of dead people. Which is an incredible hiding place for a Weeping Angel. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going to have to be side-eyeing every single statue now. This isn't fun. Check every single statue. How do we fight it? We find it and hope. He doesn't know yet, does he? Who and what you are. It's too early. Well, make sure he doesn't work it out. Or he's not going to help us. I have no intention of going back to prison. Okay, um, <laughs> a lot going on there. 
Uh, the doctor doesn't know what she is. It's too early. And if he found out, he wouldn't help them. So, putting, putting it together here, River was in prison, and they took her out of prison, because they knew she could get the doctor here to help them. What is she? And what has she done that wouldn't the doctor wouldn't help if he knew? <laughs> All right. Yeah. She is not. Everyone's keeping a bloody secret, aren't they now? <laughs> Amy is in full zombie apocalypse. No, I, I didn't get bitten. Look on my arm. No, you don't have to look on my arm. No, I didn't get bitten. Of course. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Rubbing her eye because she's got something in her eye. The stone seeping out. Is she turning into an angel? Because uh, you look like an angel, baby. No. <laughs> this is bad news. <laughs> What's that? Knees of the dead. Not as bad as it sounds. Labyrinth with dead people buried in the world. Okay, that was fairly bad. This won't hurt a bit. Ow! I lied. Stabilizes your metabolism again. Anything. Okay. I'm going to assume that this stabilizer is going to help stabilize her metabolism against, you know, the angel that got inside of her. <laughs> or at least I hope it does. I can pray as much at least. Well, what's he like in the future? The doctor? The doctors. The doctor. Very helpful. Yes, we are. What? Talking about you. I wasn't listening. The other way up. <laughs> Strange. Because she makes it seem like she doesn't know much about the doctor. But she evidently st knows a lot. She has the journal quite filled in. She knows how to fly the TARDIS. So she does know quite a lot. But she doesn't seem, doesn't seem to know much about the TARDIS. No, she knows a lot about the title. She doesn't seem to know much about the Doctor. So, I am I have no idea what's up with her. I don't know what her secret is. <laughs> but it feels big. We have been statues. Is someone there? Angela! <laughs> Flickering light. A dark, dark cave. All on your own, because Angelo seemingly vanished. This is a horror movie. God. <laughs> Moffat plus Weeping Angels, it's a scary good time. Weeping Angel just in front of him. Yeah, for camera going, you're for, not camera, your light going out. All alone. It ain't good for you, pal, I'll tell you that. Come and see this. What is it? Just come and see it. It's not a school trip, tell me. Oh, really? Come and see. For God's sake. <laughs> I think the angel got them both. <laughs> <laughs> that radio was it was just annoying me honestly come and see this what is it you know come and see it like just tell me <laughs> that would annoy me just tell me <laughs> sorry it would be very good if we could all remain calm in the presence of decor what's your name bob sir i love bob secret name secret bob more like scared bob now yes sir good it's gonna keep you fast okay the doctor's got a point there because <laughs> you should be scared he's right the scared keeps you fast but if you're not scared at the prospect of you know being in this cavern of death where there's a statue on the loose that looks like all the other statues here well it doesn't look but it's a statue to an extent it does look like it all if it touches you it's going to send you back in time and you're gone then you know you're not scared of that you've got a problem had dinner with our chief architect what he had two heads and what did it say what if we had ideas that could think for themselves what if one day our dreams no longer needed us when these things occur the time will be upon us the time of angels i don't like the sound of that <laughs> oh god and the time for it, you know, when our ideas can think for themselves. It'll be the time of angels. I am deadly scared <laughs> that whatever created this place and created that ship and everything, I am deadly, deadly scared about <laughs> every single statue here at this stage. Oh. How could we not notice that? No little perception folks or maybe we're sick. Nobody moves. They will say exactly where they are. I'm truly sorry. I've made a mistake and we're all in terrible danger. Oh, no. <laughs> we are all in terrible danger. I mean, we all already knew that, but especially now the doctor's saying it and he's made a mistake. Perception filter. None of them have faces. Oh, God. <laughs> Is it that none of them have faces because there's a perception filter hiding the fact that they're covering their faces? With their hands. Because <laughs> if so, oh no. <laughs> the outplans, they've got two heads. Yes, I get that, so. So why don't the statues? I want you all to switch off your torches. I'm going to turn off this one too. 
<laughs> oh no. Yeah, the realization. The species who created this had two heads, built a statue of one head. So where is the second head? <laughs> and I was just testing his theory. And yeah, in the cover of complete darkness, all the statues turn. And, you know, get ready to attack at least. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can imagine Moffat sitting there at home. How can I up the ante of Blink with the Weeping Angels? Um, Death Cavern full of them. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> They're angels. All of them. They can't be. Every statue in this maze, every single one, is a weeping angel. They're coming after us. Oh, no. <laughs> every statue in this entire bloody place is a weeping angel. And they all want us. And now Bob's down there alone. Oh, Bob, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bob, come and see this. Angelo? Come and see what we found. Are you with Christian? The bishop said you'd be five minutes. I'm here, Bob. Come and see this. Oh, no. Okay, so what are Weeping Angels doing? Because they they're obviously, they can obviously use people's voices. Like they used um, the first guy's voice to get to Angelo. And now they're using Angelo's voice to get to Bob. So... I mean, like they're in Amy's head. I, can they, like, fully just get inside you? And so use you as, like, a mouthpiece before skadooshing you back in time? Maybe? <laughs> what have you found? Come and see. No, what is it? Come and see. I'm so sorry, Bob. I'm so sorry. I did not like that cracking noise. I am so sorry, Bob. They don't look like angels. They're not losing their form. They must have been down here for centuries. Losing their image. And their image is their power. Power! The question of the Byzantium wasn't an accident. It was a rescue mission for the angels. We're in the middle of an army. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, that explains it. They've lost their angel form because they've run out of energy, pretty much. But now this ship's crashed down. They have leaking energy out the wazoo. Ready to fill up this entire catacombs full of angels with the energy to become charged again. And then, my god, is the universe in trouble with this many weeping angels. Bob, sir. Angelo and Christian are dead, sir. The statue's killed them. Where are you now? I'm on my way up to you. Snap their necks. That's not how the angels kill you unless they needed bodies for something. How did you escape? I didn't escape, sir. The angel killed me, too. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Wright, you know, snapping necks isn't the angel's usual pro call, protocol. Unless, like he says, they needed bodies for something. And, I mean, using their voice is a pretty solid thing to use a body for. <laughs> their faces, Bob says, no, no, I'm dead too, guys, don't worry. Don't worry, I'm dead as well. It's chill, I didn't escape. No, no, I can see the, I can see the, you know, the mis I can see why you'd think that. No, no, I'm dead. <laughs> what do you mean the angel killed you? Snap my neck, it wasn't as painless as I expected. It was pretty quick, so that was something. How can I be talking to you? He stripped my cerebral cortex from my body and reanimated a version of my consciousness. Sorry about the confusion. So when you say you're on your way up, it's the angel. <laughs> I even said, sorry about the, sorry about the miscommunication. No, 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 yeah, yeah. It created, you know, it, it's using me. You know, it killed me, dead. <laughs> you know, but it's using my voice to communicate with you. No, the, the angel's coming to kill you. Oh, okay. We're, we're trapped. <laughs> guys, guys, we're trapped. <laughs> oh, no. Go, 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 go. No way we can arrest you. I know that, sir. And when you've flown away in your little blue box, I'll explain that to them for a minute. Which angel are I talking to? The ship. Yes, sir. So the angel is not in the wreckage. Thank you. <laughs> angel Bob. <laughs> Lovely nickname. Yeah. Just checking. Um, if the angel from the ship's the one that he's talking to and that's coming for them, then he's not in the wreckage, meaning we can pop off into the wreckage and... I guess try and stop the energy leaking out so that they'll bring all the angels back to life. It's a solid plan. <laughs> Don't wait for me. Go run. I can't. <laughs> no, really, I can't. Why not? Look at it. Look at my hand. It's stone. Oh, a big oh no. Yeah. He's got inside Amy and now it's turning her into stone, turning her into an angel. Oh, for Christ's sake. So now we got to stop the energy leaking out to stop all the other angels coming to life, but we also have to figure out how to stop Amy turning into an angel, you know? For God's sake. <laughs> you looked into the eyes of an angel, didn't you? I couldn't stop myself. It's messing with your head. Your hand is not made of stone. It is! Look at it! You can move that hand, you can let go. I can't. It's stone! The angel is gonna come. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it's just... If she's not actually turning to stone, but the angel's in its, her mind, it's got in her brain, and it's messing with her, it's whispering in her ear, to make her think it's stone so she doesn't move. So she thinks she can't move so she doesn't move so it can get to her. 
Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Got all that stuff with River. Can be rewritten. It doesn't work like that. You are magnificent. I'm sorry. Understand. Got to be. Oh no, I'm not leaving you never. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> 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 Just like you're a Avi, you are magnificent. And as far as ways go, I thought he was just going to say, like, you know, Avi would be like, you know, I can't move. It's turned to say, he'd be like, no, it's not. I'm holding it. And then he'd be like holding her hand. But nope, he just bit it. <laughs> he just literally bit her hand like a feral child. So she realizes it's not made of stone. Oh. <laughs> It works. <laughs> they're coming and they're draining the path themselves. We won't be able to see them, which means we can't stay here. There's no way up, no way back, no way out. No pressure. This is usually when you have a really good idea. There's always a way out. There is. There's always a way out. Like River says, this is the part where the doctor comes out with a great idea. He usually leaves, leaves it post cliffhanger to the first 10 seconds of the next episode, but he comes out with a really solid one. Um, not entirely sure for this one. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the Byzantium spaceship. You don't need to climb up because you can activate he with 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 his screwdriver. He can activate a gravity field that pulls you up. I don't know. <laughs> What's your problem? I will not last much longer. And the angels will be with you. Something the angels are very keen you should know. Told me my fear would keep me alive, but I died afraid, in pain, and alone. Let me down. You're trying to make him angry. <laughs> trying to get in his head. Trying to piss him off. <laughs> also, I guess trying to scare the others. You know. Saying you're, you're scared and that's a bad thing and you're gonna die scared. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that pass. I'm sorry you're dead, but they will be sorry. This trap's got a great big mistake. Oh, mistake. Trust me. Yeah, always. We have faith. Give me your gun. You're incredibly stupid and dangerous. Jump! <laughs> I guess. Yeah, just checking everyone. Everyone trusts me? Alright. Is he going to activate? Is he gonna shoot the ship? Activating its like self defense protocols. So it shoots the ground. Because yeah, if we can't we can't go sideways because all the caves are blocked. We can't go up because we can't get there. So we gotta go down. <laughs> On my signal. What signal? Don't miss it. You mentioned a mistake. If you have any plans about seeing tomorrow, there's one thing you never put in a trap. And what would that be? Me. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> if you value existence, you don't put the doctor in a trap because he would just figure out the most ridiculous way out of it. And he shot the ship and he's released fluid. <laughs> I don't know what that fluid is, but he's he's released fluid. I for some reason. <laughs> That'll help. He's figured something out. And much like every cliffhanger in a double parter, we'll have to wait till next the first ten seconds of ten seconds of next episode to figure that out. But that is next time. And that is gonna be it for today. Let me just double check. Yep, we'll be back next time for season five, episode five, Flesh and Stone. Uh how will the Doctor River Amy and Jorah Mormont slash Batman get out of this one. <laughs> Trapped in a cavern full of weeping angels. I dread to think. But I have the faith. And if you have the faith and you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe more so you don't miss that episode as we continue on in the adventures of Matt Smith as the 11th Doctor. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Love hearing what, you're, what you all think. Uh, and all the fun facts and everything you bring as well. It's incredible. Thank you for the support. And as always, I just want to say a very special, until next time, thank you for watching.